Hello, welcome back. This is Break the Twitch. Break the Twitch. So as it turns out, we are still in the middle of a pandemic. And for a lot of people around the world, winter is coming, or maybe it's already here. You see, here in Phoenix, we have a slightly different situation where our summer is the indoor season. It was about 115 degrees all summer long, and more or less, Amy and I have spent the last five months or so in the house. Although there was one exception when we took a day trip to Flagstaff, Arizona, we did enjoy that. But in general, we pretty much haven't been outside and we've been at home during a pandemic just trying to make do, just get by. I am very grateful that the weather here in Arizona is much better now and we can actually go outside and enjoy it. But I know that for many of you, it is time to trade. You're going to be spending a lot more time indoors. One of the things that really helped get me through the last five months of being inside the overwhelming majority of the time has been integrating different types of movement into my day. Of course, exercise is wonderful for increasing dopamine and reducing anxiety, just making you feel better in general, especially when it's part of a routine that you get to look forward to, something that you can do and really just experience that relief. It's been a big thing for me, but it also took quite a while to get used to doing those workouts at home. With gyms closed, the routine is entirely different and the motivation and boundaries you put up around that time have to be different too. But there's something that is really often missed, just general movement. The movement that happens when you're not specifically exercising at a gym or doing an at-home workout. Especially during those five months when I was stuck in the house, you kind of just find yourself waking up, you go to the bathroom, you go to the kitchen, then you go to the office, and that's kind of it. You might sit there for hours at a time. That's one of the little things that can really sneak up on you if you're stuck at home and not doing your typical commute or walking from a parking lot into a building, going to a cafeteria at school, or just those general movements, those steps that are happening day to day that really add up to actually quite a bit of movement. And this isn't just about burning calories. This is just stretching and moving your body and just being human, right? It's human to move. It's not a human thing. Well, it's become a human thing, but it's not truly like a natural human thing to just be sitting or in a small space all the time, which is part of why I think psychologically this has been so difficult for, I assume, most of us. It's been very difficult for me just being in one place all the time. So that's why I wanted to make this video, because we are coming out of our indoor time, and many of you are going into your indoor time, and we have some pandemic spikes going on right now, I figured I would share some interesting or compelling ways to get more movement in your day, not to try to burn more calories or anything, but more so just try to feel better and make sure you're moving around and maintaining some of that movement so that when we can go back outside, we'll be ready for it. The first thing is a doorway action trigger. And this is a fun thing that you can do by just putting a post-it note on the top of the tour. You don't really have to do much other than that to remind yourself, but every time you walk through that doorway, it doesn't matter when, choose some action to do, whether it's put your arms up and touch the top of the door frame or bend over and touch your toes. You could even have like a weight or something that you just pick up push above your head and sit back down. That's an easy way to trigger this action without having to think about it too much that will just happen as you're organically moving around your home to get up, go to the kitchen, bathroom, etc. Number two is give yourself compelling reasons to get up from where you are. I assume you're probably sitting at a desk and if you have your phone next to you and you can just pick it up and check it anytime you want to check something, well, we know how that's gonna go. Basically, put your phone in the other room It'll actually help you focus while you're working as well to not have that distraction there. But if you put your phone in the other room, anytime you want to check something, you just need to get up and go do it. Choose something for you that is a compelling ask, something that you would wanna check several times a day. Put it in the other room, put it upstairs or downstairs so that you have a little bit of a ways to go. I think you might see some side benefits from this as well of being much more calm and also just feeling more focused as you're working through the day. 
Number three is pick up a standing desk. Now, this is really important that it goes up and down so that you're not just standing all day either. That's not necessarily very good for you, especially if you're really used to sitting and then immediately going to standing all day. That's not going to be good for your body or your knees. It's really uncomfortable because I tried it at one point. One of the great ironies is that because I work on Break the Twitch full time, making videos, working within the community and more, I'm at my computer just about all day. And so I've been wanting a standing desk for quite a while and I was really grateful to connect with FlexiSpot who offered to send me this standing desk, the one that I'm using right now. And after doing some research online, seeing that they were one of the most affordable options for standing desks in general, and there were a lot of very positive five-star reviews, I said, cool, let's do it. The boxes came really quickly and once they got here, it took me about 45 minutes or so to put it all together. This one is a motorized standing desk. So it goes up and down using this little panel right here. You just adjust it up or down and tell it where you want it to go. You can even use these buttons to set different memory positions so it does what it needs to do automatically. One of the things I really liked about FlexiSpot's options were that they had a bunch of different color palettes and design options. So I was able to pick something that went with all of my other furniture in the office and it feels super steady. I'm six foot two and right now the desk is at about chest height. It goes really high and so it's even higher than would be necessary for someone like me trying to stand and work at the desk all day. About a year and a half ago before we moved, I actually had a standing desk back in Minneapolis, but it wasn't motorized. And whenever I would have anything heavy on the table, I really had to work to pull the whole desk upward. And this one will actually hold 150 pounds, completely motorized with you just touching a button. It'll go up and down and it'll do what you need it to do. So if you happen to be looking for a motorized standing desk that's affordable and quite sturdy, FlexiSpot is a great option. And I'll put a link for $15 off your own desk in the description of this video. When you click that link, not only will you be getting $15 off, but you'll be helping to support my work here with Break the Twitch as well, which I greatly appreciate. So with that being said, on to number four. Use some sort of recurring timer to remind yourself to get up and move around. I've heard it said in different studies that the ideal time is every 20 minutes we get up, stretch, move our bodies in some way. That feels like a lot, especially if you're trying to have focused blocks of time where you're getting work done. So ideally you do a focus block, your timer goes off, and then you use that as a reminder to stretch, recharge a little bit, and then get back to work when you're ready. Number five is a bit peculiar, but it actually works really well. Stand on one foot while you're doing random household tasks. So while you're brushing your teeth, pick up one foot and just continue brushing your teeth like you normally would and hold it there. It's going to work all of your core stabilizing muscles and make your body move in different unique ways, something you might not normally do. You can integrate this type of balancing exercise into just about everything you do when you're not just sitting in a chair. Of course, it's great if you can do a dedicated workout as much as possible, but at the same time, it's almost more important to just get those small movements going throughout your day, just to keep your body loose and not just be hunched over your workstation and try to keep your mental health just in check these and other similar things have been really helpful for me over the last five months of our indoor season. So if you're going into your own indoor season where it's just not as pleasant outside and more difficult to get out there, I hope that they help you as well. We're all getting through this together and hopefully we'll get through it soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.